Happy Wednesday to you. I'm Ross DiMatteo right now with your 13 Action News Update. The Nevada State Assembly is considering historic budget cuts to address a $1.2 billion budget shortfall. The bill considered today shifts millions of dollars to the general fund from departments at every level. Sisolak's cuts include ne nearly $250 million from the Department of Health and Human Services, including Medicaid, as well as nearly $200 million from the Department of Education and K-12 schools. Legislators, though, don't have to accept this proposal, and many are fighting for every last dollar. The Vegas Chamber of Commerce is asking the state legislature to protect Nevada businesses that follow CDC and state health guidelines from getting sued over the coronavirus. But it's getting some pushback from some who are calling this blanket immunity. They claim it would protect some bad actors. President Trump is touting a major success in the fight against MS-13. He and Attorney General William Barr announced today that more than 20 members have been arrested in just the last week. 13 of them have been indicted here in Nevada. There are other indictments as well in New York and Virginia, and they include terrorism charges for an alleged ringleader. Attorney General Barr says they are pursuing the death penalty. More announcements are expected next week. The above average heat holds on heading into the weekend with highs topping out near 107 for your Wednesday with plenty of sunshine and a light breeze. The wind will weaken overnight into tomorrow morning, but it looks like temperatures will hover near 108 into the start of the weekend with that afternoon breeze each day. Expect plenty of sunshine and dry conditions, but a wind shift early next week, bringing in slightly higher dew points. That means a few more clouds mixing in by Monday. Danny, thanks so much. That was your 13 Action News update, and you can always get the latest news at KTNV.com. And thanks so much for making 13 Action News a part of your day. Have a great Wednesday.